In this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what we do for airflow. Um, well, first of all, I've read a lot of blogs, seen a lot of YouTube videos in the Facebook group. A lot of people ask, how do you stay cool uh, in the hot months when you're out camping or you live in your RV? Um, our approach or strategy is we try to travel to higher altitudes or northern climates to just try to go to a, a climate that's actually cooler by default. But inevitably, you always have to end up moving fair, uh, air in your van because it's a small space and it gets stagnant pretty quick. It doesn't move. So what do we do? And what we've done is we've researched a lot and ad adapted or adopted uh, methods other people are using. One thing that we started with right off the bat was going to Home Depot might have been Lowe's, I'm not sure, and buying some of this product, it's gutter guard. And all you really do is you just cut it to size for the side windows, and I'll actually install this in a moment just so you can see how it goes in. But this, this goes, we have two pieces, one for the driver's side uh, sliding door window, and one for the passenger side sliding door window. So it'll allow some airflow in those windows without allowing bugs to get in. Another thing my wife did was repurpose some screen material she had. Uh, she put together a mosquito type net that's magnets all along the outside um, with some spacing so it can be folded without bending any magnets. Uh, and this actually just sets right over where the moon roof opens. You can actually uh, open the moon roof fully with this in place or you can just um, raise the rear. Uh, this is a Honda Odyssey. Um, so anyone familiar with a moonroof and a Honda Odyssey, it's fully functional. It opens and closes with this on it. So this allows for air to escape through the top or be pulled in uh, through the top. We also have a, a video uh, dedicated specifically and in its entirely to the mosquito net that my wife also built or designed uh, and put together that fits inside this, uh, this opening here and it's held in with elastic cord. So that uh, allows us to really open right up and allow air to, to, uh, to flow through. One other thing we actually, or two other things we rely on heavily, are USB fans. We happen to use um, the Apolla brand fan. Uh, there's a lot of reviews online regarding this fan. I can tell you on a low setting, we can run this thing for like three nights without needing to go through a recharge uh, easily. So I think uh, it retails somewhere around $40. We got lucky, my wife found one for half price. So we paid full for one and half price for the other one. And we set these up, they clip on real heavy duty clips. Very, very functional. Um, and the air they move is incredible, the amount of air they move. So we'll set these up to exhaust, to intake and a combination of both and just to push air to help cool it down in here rather quickly. With the gutter guard, I just cut it to size. I actually could probably tweak it a little bit and have done a better job cutting it. Uh, you set it in on top of the window. Usually I have my wife help me uh, make it a two man job. And just like that, We'll do this to the other side as well, and that will just allow for some airflow in these side windows. And the screen doesn't allow any bugs to come in, so it works well. So for the moonroof net, it's really simple. Uh, it's easier if my wife helps me, but one person can very easily do this. Just set it up, the magnets will actually hold it in place. Um, and this will allow a lot of airflow to come in and go out as well. A note about the screen, obviously, you want to make sure you have good weather because if it rains, uh, the rain will come down through. We've actually considered maybe tarping over the vehicle. I haven't gone that far yet. Uh, but anyway, just something worth noting. Make sure the weather's good, especially if you plan on keeping this in and maybe going away for a while, like leaving your vehicle. So once we have all of our venting mechanisms in place uh, with the mosquito net and all that, We'll just set up fans. We might not do this until we're ready to, to come in for the night. We usually do not come into the van until it's after dark. Um, and we usually try to just wind down and sleep in here. 
Uh, but we'll get these things set up and we do this in various different locations to get the airflow moving. We've seen, you know, it drop 10 degrees relatively quick when you start running these and the temperature allows for it. So there are some airflow options for you. We hope this is helpful uh, to you. And um, if you feel it could help other people, please share it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.